Well, good Bacho Monday morning, guys. I hope you're doing well on this Monday in the middle, moving toward the back half, actually, of, of June. Hey, I uh, hope you joined us last week. We had a great VBS. Uh, had a great night with the fellows, with some fathers on Wednesday. Hopefully you were a part of that that group. And uh, so it just went real, real well. And so I appreciate that, all that were involved. Hey, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to look at the fruit of the Spirit. In Galatians chapter 5, 22 and 23, Paul is talking to a church in Galatia that has a lot of issues going on. They're really struggling with the difference between legalism and freedom in Christ and what that means and how to live everything out. And so he goes through different things, goes through what it means to be free. And in fact, this coming Sunday uh, on July the 2nd, I'm actually going to talk out of chapter 5, verse 13 on freedom. But uh, as part of that chapter, as it gets to the end of it, Paul speaks about the fruit of the Spirit and what these fruits are and what that means. And today is kind of introductory to that. So let me, let me read this. Paul speaking said, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. So Paul lays out nine fruits. And notice what they're of. They're of the Spirit. Meaning these are things that when, the, when I come to Christ, the Holy Spirit lives in me. The Holy Spirit comes and resides in my life. Now I can do things for him to work or not work, but he comes into my life. And so I have the Holy Spirit working in me. So that's the first truth that you and I need to make sure we understand. As a follower of Jesus, the Holy Spirit is going to work in me. He wants to work in me. I need to decide if I'll allow him to. Now, there's two things. He does many things. But there's two actions that we see directly. That's the gifts of the Spirit and the fruit of the Spirit. A gift of the Spirit, you can go to Romans 12 and 1 Corinthians 12, and you see the different gifts that the Holy Spirit gives us. And we're told that he gives those to believers. All believers have a gift from him. It could be teaching. It could be leadership. It could be administration. It could be faith. It could be giving and generosity. It could be many things. But not everybody, no one has all the gifts of the Spirit. But we have different ones for the purpose of building up the body of Christ, of serving the body of Christ. And so you as a follower, there's something, and if you're trying to say, how do I unpack this and understand it? I'd love to work with you on that. Scripture will, will show you, and we can, we can talk about that. So I'd love to help you unpack that. But you have a gift or gifts to use for God's kingdom purposes and to build up the church and to build up believers. The fruit of the Spirit is different. Whereas a gift, I get one gift or maybe this gift, but not all of them. All the fruit of the Spirit are to be produced in me. All these things that I just talked about are things that the Holy Spirit can produce in me at, at one time and living out my life when my life is given over to Him. And so when the Holy Spirit is allowed to work, the Holy Spirit will do these things. He will do, produce in me love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. And so I need to be mindful of that. And I need to let that work out. I need to let that play out and let God minister in that way. So your assignment for the next week is to go back and read through these. Read through first, or excuse me, Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Understand that these are driven by the Holy Spirit with a, with a relationship with Christ. Realize that God wants each of us to have all of them working in us. And then... Make me evaluate. Put, you know, this just something between you and you and God and, and, and the Word is maybe write those nine out and say on a scale of one to ten, how am I doing? How 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 often is 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 love produced in me? How often is joy? How often is peace? Just kind of as a, a gauge to maybe where you are. Be honest with yourself. No one else has to see it. And allow God to do a work. So read through it, think about it and prepare for it. Next week, we're going to come together and we're actually going to talk about love and, and joy. Love, joy, peace. We're going to talk about love and joy for a few moments next week. All right, let me pray for you. I hope you have a good week. And if you have questions about, hey, how, what about these gift things? Maybe you don't understand that. Maybe that's just new to you. That's fine. Uh, 
I'd love to get together with you. Love to walk through that with you. Just give me a call, shoot me an email or a text. All right, let me pray with you. Father, what a beautiful day. And may we be mindful that as followers of Christ, there are fruits that you want to produce in us. There are things that you want to demonstrate through us and to change us. May we as followers of you and as men allow that to happen and allow you to work. And it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.